On problem three, we're still assuming all the conditions have been met. How many cars must be randomly selected and tested in order to estimate the mean braking distance of registered cars in the United States? We want 99% confidence that the sample mean is within two feet of the population mean. And the population standard deviation is known to be seven feet. So let's look at how a confidence interval is constructed. We take our sample mean, we add and subtract z star times sigma over square root of n. And this piece right here, this is the margin of error. So this is what we're adding and subtracting. And what, what we want is we want our confidence interval to have a maximum margin of error of two feet. So here's what we do. If this margin of error needs to be a maximum of two feet, we can say we want our margin of error to be less than two feet. Now let's plug in what we have for margin of error. Margin of error is the critical value z star times sigma over the square root of n. We want that to be less than two feet. Now let's start with this z star right here. Um, Z star is based on this 99% confidence. So let's see. If we have the normal distribution and we want to know the cutoff values that cut off the middle 99% of data, that would leave half a percent here and half a percent here. So what we want to actually plug into our calculator is we want to use the inverse norm 0.99 plus this 0 0.005. Because inverse norm tells you the area to the left of some cutoff value. So if this is our cutoff value right there, to the left of that is 0.995. So here's how you get to inverse norm. Push second, and then this VARS button, which accesses the, uh, the distribution menu here. And go to inverse norm 0.995. So this is our critical value Z star. It's very important that you don't round this value when you're calculating sample size, because even a small rounding can affect your answer quite a bit. So to keep this value, what I'm gonna do is push this STO button. I'm gonna store this value as, and you can choose any letter by pushing the alpha menu. If I push alpha, and you know what? I'm gonna store it as Z, since it's Z star. So now anytime I type Z, it will instead access this number. All right, so we've, we've got Z star. Sigma is given in the problem. It says the population standard deviation is known to be seven uh, feet. So here's where we're at right now. Z star times seven over the square root of N needs to be less than two. Let's go ahead and start by dividing both sides by Z star. That will cancel this one off that side. And on this side, we have two over Z star. So we have seven over the square root of N needs to be less than two over Z star. Um, instead of calculating this right now, let's keep going with the algebra. If we multiply both sides by the square root of N, then that cancels and we get two divided by z star times the square root of n. And on this other side, we're just left with seven. Okay, so if I divide seven by two divided by z star, I'll be left with the square root of n on this side. Seven divided by, remember when you divide by a fraction, it's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. I'm actually going to change this to that, 7z star over 2. That's just the reciprocal of this fraction multiplied by the 7. All right, last step, we need to just square both sides to get n. So n needs to be greater than 7z star over 2 squared. All right, let's, uh, let's type this in. So 
I'm going to use parentheses here. 7 times, and Z star I store it as Z, so 7 times Z divided by 2 is this much, but then I need to square that value. So I'll square it, and we get 81.2. Um, even though we should technically by rounding rules, round this down to 81. With sample size, you always want to round up to ensure you're getting that full 99% confidence. So what size sample would be required? N would need to be 83.